<laughs> Here we go. Here we go. He's got two more freezes to make it work. Please, no traps. Please, no traps. Please, no. Oh! <laughs> Bro, the tornadoes! Welcome back, ladies and gentle toes, to the WCL League, because today we got Repotted Gaming, who are one of the four golden ticket holders. One of the best four teams in the world, you tell me. Going up against Army Volt today. Let's see who's going to be victorious, because Army Volt are in with some Electro Dragons. Cool. On the bottom side of the base, Early Rage. Early Warden. King Queen on the right side. Battle Blimp is in. Warden ability. Boom. Everybody down there invincible for nine seconds. Rage the Ejax on the right. Super Minions on defense. King Queen still healthy. King popping ability. Take a lot of damage. Tornado Trap over by the Blimp. We rage. We freeze. We freeze again. We might be in a little bit of trouble or the Yeti's going to get everything. One more freeze for good luck. He gets the Town Hall. Boom. Cool. Costed a lot of freezes, though. Queen stuck in here. Had to pop her ability, and she's going to die there. Uh-oh. Royal Champion on the top side of the base all by herself. No spell support. No Headhunter support. I don't like that. I don't like that. Down goes that Royal Champion, and this is falling flat on its face, man. Rip this attack. Barely a minute into it, and it's already dead. Awkward. Diggy goes down, and it's a 71% to open up the match. Potted Gaming with their first attack. Early Yeti Bomb hits some traps right away, but the luckily Yeti Mites can jump over the wall, take the Monolith out anyway. Queen Charge Lalo hit here for Team Fur. Julio. Healers on the Queen. Coco Loon searching for traps. Minion is in. No seeking air mines there. Rage on the queen. Headhunter deployed. A bit early with that headhunter. Not the end of the world. Rage spell still going to be intact when queen fights champion. King on the outside to help push the queen in for the scattershot. what? Next Coco Loon. Cool. Perfect. Nice wall break. Give Queen access to the Eagle Artillery as the King really sets the funnel here. I'm a fan. Rage spell for the healers. Keep that Queen alive with abilities. Super minions on defense. No big deal because we got the poison spell. Look at this. Wall break. Dude, that's beautiful. A queen have access all the way to the Town Hall. I'm a fan. Off the King ability. Next Rage on the Queen. We're just going to invest almost all these spells on her. Keep her alive. Lala from the left side of the base. Here we go. Not going to waste time. Not going to waste time at all. Oh, gosh. So many raged up expos on the queen right now. So he goes with the invis spell. Nice. Multitask in here from Repotted Gaming. Last rage on the queen. He gets through that right side multi. We pop Warren ability on the left. We haste our balloons through the scattershot. Headhunters do take out the enemy. Archer, queen. We pop queen ability. We're going to freeze up the inferno tower. Queen going for the town hall. And she'll take it out with the last freeze on the inferno tower. Yet again, the balloons slowly fly their way up in there. Take out the Inferno Tower. Town Hall already secured. Queen working on this Expo. RC ability helps to finish it off. And the balloons skip the Giga Poison. Seven balloons on standby for the backside of the base. This base is rushed. This is why these guys got a golden ticket. They got some talent. That was a nice Queen Charge Lalo. Flawless execution. And Repotted Gaming start this match in the lead. Three stars to two. Army in with their second attack in time to start catching up. Time to three star. Because Repotted got a triple just now. Queen on the left side, then a recall right away. Deploy her again on the top side. And we got super dragons. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Queen takes the archer tower. Takes the air defense. Cool, cool. Here we go. Super Dragons in toward the Town Hall. 
Very nice. Rage on the queen. King with Frosty moving around toward the right. Queen doing her thing. Super drags into the town hall with a second rage on the Warren ability going to go off right now. Boom, boom, boom. King and queen working together on the right side now. Can we get through that Giga Poison? We got a poison spell on the super minions on defense. Queen getting wrecked by some Expo, so we have to pop her ability there. Breeze is in the core. Super Dragon's really low on health, though. They're all going to die right there. Yikers. Still a lot of defenses to get through. Where do we dare send the champion? On the right side of the base. Here we go. Last Super Dragon gets locked onto. Warden goes down. Phoenix brings him back to life for like nine or eight seconds. No skeleton spells to distract the monolith. No free spells. No invis spells. It's looking wonky for army. The eagle stays up on one HP. Targets his champion instead of the queen with healers as well. This is a rip. A big rip for army. He needed a three star here to catch back up and they're not going to get it. So they're going to need some OP defenses if they want a chance in this matchup. Down goes the Queen. He's got a couple minions, but not going to be able to do much with them. In fact, I don't think he gets anything. Rip the homie. 74% on this one. Let's try. Back is in with some more Queen Charge Lalo for Rapotted. Another early battle blimp for the Monolith. They seem to be liking this setup. Early battle blimp with no spells for the Monolith. And then also use that as the initial Queen Funnel. Got one of his healers targeted by the Archer Tower right away, but the healer's still alive. Okay. Alright. Triple Ice Golem CC. Queen will be able to deal with that. Just takes two to three business days. He rages up the Queen. Did she actually need that rage? I'm not convinced. He did. But she got the cannon before switching targets to Ice Golems. That might have been a swag rage. Although it does help with the time to get through the Ice Golems a lot faster. Some sneaky goblins on the left, setting up probably some king pathing. Next rage on the queen is going to be needed right now. Maybe even a freeze on the enemy queen. Let's we'll see. Yep. Perfect timing as well. Good job there, Mr. Mech. King on the left with the phoenix. You have two more wall breakers, and he's dropping them from this angle to give queen access to sideswipe the town hall. Perfectly placed there. A couple minions on the storage. I wish he had another sneaky for that. Queen might path a little wonky. Uh, nope, she goes straight in. All right. Healers are in trouble, though. He goes with the invis spell. Good call. Eagle locks onto the king. Queen takes the town hall. Everything looking good so far. We're going to Lalo from the right. Cool. Free spell on the expo. On the scatter shot. Send some headhunters. Champion with the balloons. Pop a war and ability. He is going to invest another rage for the queen. He misses the healers, though. So queen goes to ability there. Pops the Warden ability. Get the Haste spell in. We got through the Eagle Artillery just then. There is the last Freeze spell. We still got three Inferno Towers to get through. These Balloons could get bamboozled. RC, Diggy, get through the first Inferno Tower. All the Balloons are getting wrecked except for a small group on the top side. He's got four more in his pocket as well. Champion has ability. No more spell support. The Warden Tower hits pretty hard. It's doing a lot of damage. Even with the Diggy there to stun, the Tesla's going to finish off the champion. Can the Warden and the back in four balloons clutch up, though? Queen lost all her healers, but she gets through the wall. She takes the last Inferno Tower. Warden, balloons, Diggy to stun the last Wizard Tower, and it is another Clan Clash Triple for Repotted Gaming. And they are two for two. Wow. Ami with their third attack. Some zaps for... What was that? A scatter? No. What was that? An expo? I think so. And an inferno tower. If I'm not tripping. Sometimes I'm tripping. King on the right side. Queen on the two up side. Julio. Baby dragon. Ooh, I don't think King's going the right way, or is he? Was he supposed to go up and around? I don't know. Log Launcher is in. Okay. Queen, gonna go inside here, pop her ability, sure. Log Launcher bus open as well. 
I mean, technically could reach the expo and the multi on the other side, but will she live long enough to get over there? Oh, nope. <laughs> Headhunters absolutely yoinked the queen. That poison spell was late and a half. Royal Champion on the left side. Free spell for the Headhunters. Yeti Mites do pick up that expo. The super minions are not going down. Here we go with the Lalo from the bottom side. Okay. Town Hall about to wake up. Super minion still alive is very awkward. Rage Tower on defense. He's got some spells. Tornado Trap's awkward though. We pop forward an ability. We rage. He used to use that skeleton spell. It's late. Why is he not? Why is he? Why do you drop the, all the headhunters before using the skeleton spell? Brother? Oh no. He whiffed. He almost could have saved this. But he whiffed. Skeleton spell should have been down before using the headhunters. Rip. Awkward. Lava Pups, Skeleton Spell, still takes out the champion, but he lost all the balloons because of how delayed that was. Clean up all around the left side of the base, gonna be able to get him close to 80%. But not the three star they needed to really start having a chance in this match. Big rip to the homie. Gonna get about 81, maybe. 82, perhaps. Nice try. Sin Torras with some more zaps. Okay. What do you get? A Rage Tower, an Inferno Tower, a Builder Hut? Cool. Queen on the left side of the base. King finds a Tesla farm right away. Couple balloons. Get the Tesla, or to get one of the Teslas. You trying to force King inside for the Eagle? That's not gonna work. He's going up. Maybe champion just meant for the eagle, okay. Skeleton spell to help the queen go fight enemy queen. Does that work? Uh, uh, he's gonna have to pop ability early. Oh my gosh, she almost died through ability. Woo! Champion gonna get stuck on a skelly trap as well. Looking a little sloppy. Queen does pick up the scatter shot though. King goes down, he invests a free spell. Once champion to clear this entire compartment. Another skeleton spell. She's not even gonna get the eagle. Oh, that's a rip. The eagle's on one HP, too. So close. Look at that. No builders to repair it, either. And he's just going to have to ignore it. It's going to do damage to his balloons, to his lava hounds. Rip. Has to freeze a couple times just to get through the first Inferno Tower. Town Hall's not even awake. Hopefully the owl, somebody can wake it up. He pops more in ability. It, it does wake up. We get through it with the raid spell. Stone Slammer's pathing to that multi on the left. Ice Hound can freeze the enemy champion. Warden sitting inside the Giga Poison. The Eagle locking onto our balloons, not cash money. We haste through the monolith. We send the Headhunters. They will take out the champion. Stone Slammer made it all the way past the Eagle. We got Yeti's helping out over there. This is still getting really close. He's got a Valkyrie for some unknown reason that he didn't use earlier. What the? Everything fizzling out. Both Yetis died a spring trap? What the? At the same time, were there two different spring traps there? I need an instant replay on that because two Yetis shouldn't be able to die to the same spring. Rip. It should have been a three star. What went wrong? What do you guys think went wrong? I feel like the plan was good enough. I don't know. He is going to get close to 90%. He might even get 90. He might not. No, not quite. Well, actually, he will. I think he's going to get exactly 90. Maybe even 91. Forgot code Lex knows. <laughs> True. True. Not quite going to get the storage in time. 89%. Nice try, homie. Army is in, and it's now or never. Do or die. Time to hit some three stars. Early Warden Blimp. They're going with the most overpowered strat in the game right now. Maybe this is what's going to be the key to their success. 
Super Archer, Blimp, Double Clone, Invis, Rage. We got Super Barbarians for backup. Down goes the Town Hall. What else can he get? Being very efficient with these Invis spells. Has one more. Boom. Get the Eagle. Anything else is a bonus. I wish he would have gotten the Scatter Shot. That would have been so nice. He doesn't. So what is he going to do? Super Barbs from the bottom. Okay. Archer Queen, Baby Warden, E-Titan. Sure. Starting from a weird angle, though, because I'm not sure everybody's going to path the same way together. Here we go with King... Like, where does he expect them to go after fighting the scatter shots? The, like, somebody could peel off to the right over here. Or the ground bow. The ground bow locks onto the baby warden. Baby warden's gonna die early. That's unfortunate. Yeah, see, look. Queen's gonna walk to the right. King's gonna go to the left. And now this is getting really messy. His wall breakers didn't even make it all the way. King's just gonna be on a wall. Everybody's splitting up. Ugh. He found a way to take the most overpowered strat in the game and nerf it. Rip. Pops the queen ability. Rage tower on the left going to force his RC ability. Queen fighting the king. She's going to get bamboozled. And he's already used up most of his super barbarians. Awkward. You can get some better percentage points with the last few super barbs. That's about it. What's he waiting for? Phoenix will pick up the multi. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, eighty percent. Maybe. But yet another defense for Repotted Gaming. They're just running away with this match. Running away with it. There's the last few troops. And because of time, yep, he's going to fall short at 80%. General X is in with a lot of balloons and a lot of hogs and a yeti and a golem and some ice golems. What the? The balloons, flame flinger. Okay, okay, okay. And the skelly donut. Good placement on the invis. Order gets a shot off. It's a little awkward. Next invis. he should have used bats for this multi in instead of a skeleton spell. He used a bat spell there. The multi stays up, but he did get the eagle. He did get this clan castle building. Might be good enough. Flame Flinger's picking up a lot of buildings over there. Ice Golem, Barbarian King, Archer Queen, a Yeti to funnel. Golem now after the Ice Golem dies. We got another Ice Golem for backup too. Okay. Got one more wall breaker. And it targets the dead zone. Wow, do you think he was expecting that? Surprised it didn't go target the expo. Pop the king ability. Sure. Flame flinger gets targeted. Big rip. Super dragon. Queen won't get the town hall, so this is getting a little spicy. Did he expect Queen to be getting the town hall here? I'm a little worried about the gamer, because he dropped his warden, he dropped his champion, warden's going with the king and not with the champion. He invis his queen just so she could beat on a wall and die anyway. General X, trying to get army back in the match by giving him a one-star defense here. Dude? Dude? Oh, he's got sneakies. Yo, somebody should have told me, but he doesn't have an invis. Guys, there's no invis, though. He used the invis on the queen. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, if he can send the ice golem to the expo, could that work? Or does it die early? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm nervous for him, bro. Oh, he pulled the giant bomb. 
Send them all. Send them all now. Go, go, go. Just got a YOLO. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. He's got two more freezes to make it work. Please, no traps. Please, no traps. Please, no. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the tornado spinning them in circles. That is so unfortunate. That is so heartbreaking for General X. He got such good percent too. 94%. But it's a one star. <laughs> Army's final attack and they're bringing a warden blimp. They could actually still, well, they triple here and get a defense. I think we're potted gaming are up on percent by like miles though. Let's see what happens. Another super archer blimp. Invisibility, invisibility, get all the value. Destroy the core of the base. It's the poison tower. It's the eagle. It's the inferno on the left. It's the town hall. It's great value. It's great value. The good blimp. That's an amazing blimp actually. Holy heck. No more spells left. We actually set a funnel this time because he got the scatter shot. Okay. That's good news for the gamer. Heroes on the left side of the base. Cool. Barbs on the bottom side for some archer towers. Sure. A lot of Teslas popping up. It's a little bit awkward. A little bit spicy. He is using a lot of his super barbs early. Not saving too many for later. Wallbreaker didn't do anything. Ice Golem needs to pop and help him out here. Oh, luckily that freeze saves the headhunter. So the headhunter is going to get some good value. More super barbs along the top side. Pop king ability. Queen still moving strong with the unicorn keeping her alive. Should have used the wall breaker there to help get queen to the multi and expo faster. Queen's going to go to ability because of this. And the unicorn's probably going to die. Maybe not. Diggy saves the unicorn. Couple super barbs. Headhunter to fight the champion. Diggy stuns the expo. Unicorn stays alive. That's good news. More super barbs on the outside of the base over here. He's almost out of them. Got the RC ability though. Monolith is going to be the biggest threat. Are there any more troops in the CC or did he get the full pool? He got the full pool. Don't got to worry about that. Now he's got to try to distract this monolith, send everything in toward it. Did the champion get targeted? No. Diggy to stun. Diggy OP to save the day. Army about to hit their first three star of the match. Let's go. Finally. Took them long enough. Their closer, Nico, able to get it done here with plenty of time left on the clock. The queen's still alive with the unicorn. The royal champion lives to tell the tale. It's a three star for army. And they technically have a chance in this matchup now. But percent is a, uh, oh my gosh. I think we're potted gaming win with any two star. Potted gaming with the final attack of the match. Any two star wins it on percent. Three star will win it by a star. See what they can do. Balloons early, finding a bunch of Teslas right away. Rocket balloons, more rocket balloons, more rocket balloons. And the battle blimp! Here we go, we're gaming. Battle blimp lands over the wall, perfect. The archers, yes sir. Tornado trap. Ooh, it's actually going to spin them into the Gigabomb. Not good news. He lost like half the archers right there. But he gets the town hall. All he needs is 50% now. He's already at 25. 27. 29. If you could get a 26% two star somehow, that would be enough to win this match as well. But I don't think that's possible. Down go the archers. They got enough value in the core. Perhaps. Baby Dragon up there to force the heroes in toward the scatter shot, I believe. There's the Archer Queen. Gotta fight the Ice Golems. Oh, the Grand Warden to help assist. 
Why is the ice golem chasing frost mites? What the? That's funny. There's the king as well. Boom, we get frozen one more time. Drop the E-Titan for fun. And here we go. That's awkward. He actually did not do this efficiently. The heroes are going to split. Doesn't really matter. He doesn't need the three star. Some super barbs with the king. That champion going to hide behind a wall, which is also a little awkward. He's got normal wall breakers. Let's go. His queen and warden go downtown. King with the wall breakers are actually going to get through that wall. Champion's in on the top side with some super barbs now. Queen warden going to walk downtown. Okay. Monolith locks onto the king. Absolutely wrecking him. Yikers. Champion gets hit by the eagle. Diggy to stun the monolith. They still have a chance of three star. Maybe. Can the RC take out the enemy queen? We'll pop the warden ability with the headhunter in there? That's genius. This might still triple. Hold on. Queen picks up the expo. RC has the diggy. RC has ability. No, she doesn't have the diggy. Diggy's dead. But with the ability, boom, boom. Boom, boom. <gasps> Warden, Queen can get the other buildings. RC, gonna get the multi in the core. 98%. Go, go, go. Don't you dare be a 99. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh! Things a little. But at least they got the victory on percent, even with the one star. LOL. 11 to 11. 96.4% to 81.6.